we give you honor, Lord God. Father God, we pray right now, Lord God, that you would manifest your very presence in this parking lot, God. Go from car to car, Lord God. Go from person to person, Lord God. You know what we stand in need of, Lord God. And you are the one that's able to supply it. So we thank you in advance, Lord God, for moving today, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you would be in our worship. We pray right now, Lord God, that your word will go forth, Lord God, that it will move those ears that hear, Lord God, to act, Lord God, to not only hear and act, Lord God, to be an example, Lord God, for others, Lord God, when they look at us, Lord God, that they will see you, Lord God. So we say hallelujah, praise God. Amen. Come on, somebody, let's give God some best praise. Give him the glory. How many know he's everything to you? He's life. He's breath. He's everything. Come on, let's worship him. Let's set an atmosphere. I know we're outside. I know we're in our cars. I know we're here. But guess what? We need to worship him. That the spirit of the Lord is, that's what they say. There's freedom, there's liberty, and we can worship him in what? Spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. We just bless the name of the Lord with me. Come on, let's do this simple song. It's a worship song. It's a little call and response just to love on the Lord, call out his different names. Hallelujah. You can stand, you can do whatever you want to do. We just said, you are everything to me. That's it. Come on, let's sing that. You are everything to me. You are everything to me. Lift your voice. Come on and say. You are everything to me. Let me hear you. You are everything. In your cars, in your homes, wherever you are. Come on. You are everything to me. Come on, let's tell him who he is. You are Alpha and Omega. You're my healer, you're my Savior. You are everything. You are everything. One voice, come on. You're my healer, you're my Savior. That's it, everything. Yes. It wouldn't be a church song if we didn't go up. You are everything to me. That's it. Oh, you are everything to me. Right where you are in your cars and in your home. Come on, let's say. You are everything to me. That's it.
kitchen. It don't matter where you are. But if you know that God is everything, yeah, you ought to give him your best praise. Yeah. Come on, let's give it to him. It's worship time. I want somebody to just lift your hands and begin to worship God. Begin to thank him. How he's brought you through COVID. This season of COVID-19. He's so worthy to be praised, y'all. He's worthy to be given glory. Some of us have had COVID, but guess what? We got over it. Some of us have been to the hospital, but we came back out of the hospital. Some of us had different things that happened in our lives, but we made it through it, y'all. And we ought to just give God the glory. You ought to take a moment right now and just begin to praise and worship God. You ought to tell him that he gets all the glory. You ought to tell him that he gets all the honor. It all belongs to him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give it to him, y'all. Hallelujah. Simple worship song. He just said this. All the glory. All the glory. And the honor. And the honor. Belongs to you, oh God. All the glory.
Just shout and praise God. Amen. Don't forget about all the things that's happening. Y'all know what we do during the week. We know we on the prayer line with our men on Monday. We on the prayer line with our women on Tuesday. But guess what? We on the prayer line on Fridays with our families. So join us, y'all. Join us on the prayer line as we as we lift up the name of God and we pray and we call out names and we call out different things. Amen. On the prayer line. We want you to be a part of that. We want you to be a part of everything that's going on. You know that the conference is coming up, y'all. Our pastors and leaders conference is coming up. Amen. And we want you to be a part of that. We want you to be engaged with us as we do that. Because on Wednesday night and Thursday night, we're going to have some preachers in the house. Amen. They're going to be preaching and teaching the word of God. And we want you all to be a part of that. We want you to experience that with us. Amen. And we thank God for our senior pastor, founder, and overseer for putting this on for us. Amen. And we just bless God for him. We thank God for him. We give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Hey, y'all, he just came in. But I got to tell y'all this. Next Sunday, y'all, next Sunday is National Pastors Appreciation Day. Next Sunday, I need y'all to honk your horns if y'all heard what I said. It's National Pastors Appreciation Day. Put it in the chat. It's National Pastors Appreciation Day. And guess what, y'all? We need to show appreciation to our pastor, founder, and overseer. Amen. Because I know that when y'all hook him up, guess what he going to do? He going to hook your boy up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. And we have these nice t-shirts that we're selling. They're, I love my pastor t-shirt. They light blue. Amen. I don't know if y'all seen them, but guess what? They're light blue, and we want everybody to be able to experience that. Get one of those. Amen. We're selling them in the bookstore, but we want to show our pastor how much we love him and how much we... How many of you appreciate our pastor? How many of you love him? Amen. Let me hear some horns out there for our senior pastor, founder and overseer. Come on now. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Amen. And we thank God for him. We bless God for him. If we got any guests out there that's sharing with us, we bless God for you. If we got any guests that are here that this is your first time at Berean or experiencing a parking lot, we want you to honk your horns. If this is your first time, this is your first time. Oh, I hear some horns out there. Come on, Bereans. Let's make some noise for our guests in our parking lot with us. Amen. We give God the glory, the honor, and praise for you. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we bless God that you decided to pull up and praise with us on today. Amen. And we just bless, praise, and thank God. 
in this place and we give God the glory, the honor. Hey, don't forget about everything that's happening in the life of Berean and what's going on. We bless God for you. We thank God for you. Guess what? Our team is going to come back, lead us further in our worship experience. And then after that, we'll do communion because I'm sure y'all have your communion elements. So hold on to them. Amen. Hold on to them. If you don't have them, let somebody know that's near you so we can get it to you. Amen. So we can bless and praise God all at the same time. So we just thank God. Come on down. Get on those horns once again. Make some noise. Amen. Our team is coming back because they're going to help us to understand it's going to get better up in this place. Come on now. Put them hands together. Come on. How many know it's better? I know COVID-19 took us out. Try to take us out. But it's going to get better. Come on. Put them hands. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. That's it. Come on. Let's give God praise today. Come on. How many know it's going to get better? It's going to get better. That's it. Come on. That's it. Come on. Hey. Listen. People. People. Go. Come on. Your life. It's out of control. You're confused.
some of you know it's going to get better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Praise God. What's up, Henry County? What's up, Henry County? So good to see you. So good to see you. Mike, just put a little more in the monitors here. Amen. So good to see all of you. Clap your hands for Angela Davis and the choir. Amen. Everybody raise your fists up. Say, fight the power. Amen. Fight. <laughs> it's been a long time since we met, y'all. Look around, see how much people done change. Amen. Call somebody by their name. Say, is that you? Is that you? That's really you. That's really you. But it's so good to be back. And then it's so good to be back on our brand new parking lot. Amen. And God has given us beautiful weather, beautiful weather. And we praise God for all of you. Bless God for our singers, our band members, and everybody, everybody, everybody. Bill Helen, Bill Helen, come here for a minute. Come here, Bill Helen. Are we streaming also? Are we streaming? People watching online too? Come here, Bill and Helen. Bill and Helen. Are, come stand right up here. Come stand right up here. Come stand right up here. Bill and Helen are celebrating. Turn around so the people can see you watching virtually. Turn around that way. They're celebrating 53 years of marriage, y'all. 53 years of marriage. Amen. Bill, give her a kiss like you did on the wedding day. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's sweet. 53 years. Amen. When they got married, Bill was 25, and uh, Helen was just 10. Amen. <laughs> 18 and 19. Praise God. Let's celebrate y'all 53 years. Man, that's a blessing. That's a, some folks can't stay married 53 days. Amen, amen. 53 years. Is Dr. Izzy out here? Is Dr. Izzy out here today? Where's Dr. Izzy? She was out here earlier. Come here, Dr. Izzy. Dr. Izzy is celebrating a birthday, your 40th birthday. When, Dr. Izzy, when is it? When is it? This coming Thursday? It was last Thursday. 40 looks good on you, Dr. Izzy. Praise. And then, Dr. Izzy, give Dr. Izzy a microphone. You're running for what? You're running for, give her a microphone. Give her a microphone right there. Let them know, Dr. Izzy, we want to support you best way we can. State rep for the state of Georgia. Yeah, Newton County, Georgia. Newton County. All right, well, let us know how we can come alongside and, yes, I and do support need you. Donations and support. Donations and support. Yes, All right. Support. You got any flyers, anything with you, Dr. Izzy, in your yes, card or anything like that? Sure that I I, I'll let you give them out on the day. Okay. okay. Thank Bonnie, you. come here. Come here, Bonnie. That, your hairstyle like that wasn't an option for you or nothing like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's how they do it 2021, buddy. That's 1971, hey? <laughs> I miss y'all. I'm so happy to see y'all. I can kid like that with Bonnie, hey, amen. She can take it, hey, amen. Bonnie old school, Maria, hey? Some of y'all, I joke with you, you be moving your membership and sending me emails and all. I need a pastor more sensitive and all of that. But I appreciate you and I love you. Thank God for you. Uh, we're going to make ready to honor God with our tithes and our offering. And then on the back end, Pastor Nash will do communion on the back end. All three of our counties are having worship service, worship service uh, outside today. Outside, we're doing uh, 715, 930, and 1230 at DeKalb, 11 o'clock at Henry, and 11 o'clock at uh, Gwinnett, at Gwinnett. And we praise God that God has given us beautiful weather beautiful weather on today and we don't want to hold you long want to hold you long because the falcons are on a one game winning streak amen amen and uh we got out of church last time a little after 12 and they won we're gonna try it again today amen we're gonna try and try it again today thank you last weekend for twenty one thousand dollars in our times and offering twenty one thousand amen uh one of our members just gave a general seed of seven thousand five hundred dollars fourth sunday is generally the lowest sunday the lowest sunday in all of our counties our trend, most churches african-american churches because they in between pay and uh that was a high sunday twenty one thousand 
And uh, one member just gave a bond of 7,500. Look at somebody say, it was me. It was me. It was me. Tell somebody it was you. Tell somebody. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate We appreciate you. Thank you. No fanfare. No, you know, just, just did uh, at our, at our Gwinnett County Church a couple of weeks ago, our Gwinnett County Church, Pastor Kevin was pulling in and there was a lady parked in his wife's parking spot during the day he was pulling in and Pastor Kevin was going to let her know he was going to, to the office but he wanted to let her know when you come here you know don't 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 park in these two spots please because you never know when I'm coming never know when First Lady Karen is coming and the lady he, he didn't get a chance to talk to her because she was trying to pay her tithe trying to pay her tithes and she had get this y'all twenty five thousand dollars cash to put in an envelope and it wouldn't fit. Twenty-five thousand. We had to get her a big old thing to put twenty-five thousand cash. A young adult. A young adult. Watch this. And guess what Pastor Kevin said to her? I'm sorry for parking in your spot. <laughs> Look at somebody telling money make the difference. <laughs> Can you make twenty-five thousand? Twenty-five thousand. Amen. And going to cash all one hundred dollar bills balled up and all that. that. Amen. And she wrote on the envelope $25,570. And when our counters counted it, it was $25,562. And I said, call her and tell her she $8 short. Amen. <laughs> They're like, Pastor, we'll put in the $8. <laughs> but I, my point is you never know how God is going to use people to be a blessing to your life. And I decree and declare, y'all, like the, the last 90 days of this year is going to be better than the first nine months of this year for you. Will you throw your hands up and say, I receive that? Will you speak that over somebody Tell them the last 90 days of this year are going to be better than the first nine months? And I want you to look for God to do some things. And we're working our way back in the building. We're working our way back in the building. This is step one. The numbers are going down numbers are going down. First Lady and I were able last week to get a booster shot. A booster shot because we gave out the vaccine, the shot at the cab last week. And uh, they had some booster shots and they said, you know, Pastor, if you're over 65, I didn't meet that. I was short by 20 years. I didn't meet that. If, if you're over 65, if you have compromised conditions, I didn't meet that. They said, but if you work in a industry where it's an occupational hazard you can get the boost and how many of you know working with church folks you work at, <laughs> it's an occupational hazard amen and first lady was able to get a booster because she lives with somebody that's an occupational hazard amen so we praise God for the booster praise God and we are proponents of the vaccine by all means get the vaccine don't procrastinate vaccinate if you want things to be fixed, roll up your sleeves and get a stick. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we praise God for what God is doing and how he's a blessing our nation, yea, even our world. Father, we thank you for seed and sower. Receive now what we give to you. Thank you for this beautiful day and allowing us to be outside. Receive now our gifts as an act of gratitude in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive our singers as you give. Come on, how many of you know you're walking in increase? Come on, let's walk in increase. Amen? Amen. You heard a pastor say, it's on the way. It's on the way. Come on, let's walk in it. Come on.
Amen. Bless you. Thank you, Dave. Dave just celebrated a birthday. Amen. What, Dave? 40? 50. David just turned 50. The Needham took him to California. Amen. And they hung out. They hung out. Amen. Dave said they wasn't on Rodale Drive. They was on Rodeo. Amen. It was on... <laughs> huh? Who celebrating 80 years? Miss Ola? Where is she? Where's Miss Ola? She here? She out here right now? Miss Ola, where are you? Wave your hand. 80 years old celebrating? Praise God for you, Miss Ola. Yeah. Oh, over here, okay. <laughs> wow. Well, what? God has preserved you well, Miss Ola, and she's still working for the Lord, serving the Lord. Amen. Miss Ola ushers with us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Usher give you that look, and you pull all your money out and give it. Amen, amen. Blessings on you. Happy, when was your 80th birthday? Has it been already, or it's coming? The 11th of, of, of August, October 11th, October 11th. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Pastor Nash and Minister Val are going to bless you with $80, amen, for your birthday, okay? That's a, that's a pastoral declaration, amen. Pastor, where's Minister Val? Where's Minister Val? Amen. I know she's balling out of control, amen, amen. And they're going to be a blessing. Pastor Nash said, we got you, we got you, amen. They're going to borrow it, amen. From Scott and Gail. Amen. <laughs> Blessings on you. Grab your Bibles, turn to Luke chapter 19. Hey, the Henry County Church just received a hundred thousand dollar grant. A hundred thousand dollar grant. Did you hear what I said? Blow your horns for that. The Henry County Church just received a hundred thousand dollar grant to help people who uh, are behind in their utilities, behind in their mortgage, behind in their rent. There are only so many things, only so many things that we can use it for. But the grant drops on October 13th. That's when you'll be able to get an application and to apply. Call the church office. Call the church office here during the day. And we'll be more than happy to assist you. Those who are watching online, October 13th, October 13th. And then October 31st, October 31st, which is Halloween. We want to do something big for our children. that we need everybody to start bringing bags of candy bags of candy, two bags of candy, two bags of candy, and we just ask that it be individually wrapped, individually wrapped, and then we ask that all the candy be in the bag, amen, last year I noticed some of the mom's bars were missing, amen, my job is to check the bag to make sure that all the candy is in there, somebody's got to do it, somebody's got to do it, thank God for our video team, our video team, our media team, we appreciate you for all that you do to help us stay connected. Praise God for all of you. How many of you working today? How many working today? What is it? Four? Four of you? Five of you? Where is everybody right here up front? Everybody right, right front? Mary's in the back. Come on, Marquise. Marquise, stand. Come on, Veronica. Come on, uh, uh, Tasha. Come on, Will. Come on, Eva. Come on. Will y'all help me thank God for these people who this is how you're able to see the service every Sunday. This is how you're able to see the service every Wednesday. Because of them. Because of them. Because of them, praise God. And all of the volunteers, all of them, except for Marquise. You got to pay Marquise, amen. Marquise don't do nothing for nothing, amen. His theme song is nothing for nothing, leaves nothing, amen. But uh, he's, he's on contract for it. And job well done, job well done. Appreciate all of you. Will you blow your own? Are you going to get a picture of them, Eva? Okay. Are you going to be in the picture, Eva? Okay, just have to set the camera. All right, we're trying to get out by 12, Evie. Anytime you're ready, man. <laughs> Job well done, Jason. Appreciate you, man. All right, go ahead and get the camera there. Okay, we good? Okay, thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Love you much. Job well done. Job well done. Job well done. Luke chapter 19, real quick today. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. Uh, I would rather, just so you would know your pastor's heart, I would rather preach inside with a few people than outside, than outside with a whole lot of people. Amen. Uh, I just think inside brings a, a different feel, a different feel. Amen. I'm still getting used to people not saying amen, honking their horns. Amen. That's a new, that's a new thing. Amen. 
but you know different times require that you do things differently so I'm happy to see all of you and I want you to know that we're looking to try to come in as soon as possible as soon as possible Luke chapter 19 Luke chapter 19 uh, I want to begin reading I want to begin reading with verse 1 through 4 and I'm reading out of the NIV translation on today on today verse 1 says Jesus entered into a place called Jericho and he was passing through a man was there by the name of Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus. Let the church say Zacchaeus, 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 Zacchaeus. Hit your horn three times, Zacchaeus. Come on, Zacchaeus. Uh, 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 three times, Zacchaeus. Come on, come on. Zac, that's one hit, that's one hit. Zacchaeus, you got it? Zac don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. All right, Jesus entered Jericho and he was passing through. And there was a man there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector, and he was very wealthy. He wanted to see Jesus for who he was, but he couldn't because he was short in stature. So what he did was he ran ahead of the crowd, and he climbed up into a sycamore tree because he heard that Jesus was passing that way. And for a few minutes today, I want to preach about cleaning up what you messed up. Cleaning up what you messed up. Cleaning up what you messed up. Ushers, you may readjust. You may readjust. Thank you for serving us. Thank you for serving us virtually. Thank you for serving us physically. And to God be the glory for you. Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 10 is designed to give us an encounter of Jesus and a man by the name of Zacchaeus. I would encourage you during your time of study, your time of devotion, your moments of intimacy with God, that you would read verses 1 through 10, 1 through 10 in its entirety so that you can understand the context of this text. In a nutshell, Zacchaeus was a tax collector, tax collector. And he wasn't just an ordinary tax collector. He was a supervisor. He was a manager. He was an executive. And he had other tax collectors working under him. And what he would do is he would send them out to collect taxes from the Jewish people for the Roman government. Here is the issue with Zacchaeus. He was crooked. Here is the issue with Zacchaeus. He was shady. Here is the issue with Zacchaeus. He lacked integrity. And if somebody's taxes was $200, here's what Zacchaeus would do. He would charge $300, and guess where the other $100 went to? In his pocket. In his pocket, in his pocket. He was crooked. He was shady. And in verse number two, verse number two, he's crooked. Verse number nine, he's converted. Verse number two, he's deceitful. Verse number nine, he's delivered. Verse number two, he's on his way to hell. Verse number nine, he's on his way to heaven. And God uses the story of Zacchaeus to teach us that the Lord can change you in seven verses. Boy, blow your horn for that. The Lord can change you. The Lord can change you in seven verses. And his story is designed to show us you can clean up what you messed up. And I want to walk you through it. I want to walk you through it. I want to walk you through it. Here it is, Leonard. Here it is. Zacchaeus, Luke 19, 1 through 10. Here it is, Minister Val. Number one, you discover the meeting with Jesus, verses 1 through 6. In verses 1 through 6, guess what Zacchaeus has? A meeting with Jesus. A meeting with Jesus. Watch this. Guess what Zacchaeus' name means? Pure one. Pure one. P-U-R-E. That's what his name means, pure one. And guess what? He wasn't living up to his name. He wasn't living up to his name. And whenever you're not living up to your name, the Lord wants to meet with you. I'm preaching to somebody, you're not living up to the name Christian. I'm preaching to somebody, you're not living up to the name child of God. I'm preaching to somebody, you're not living up to the name the disciple. The meeting with Jesus. But then verse number seven, the mess around Jesus. The mess around Jesus. Deacon Richie, read verse seven when you get a chance. Some shift jumps off. 
Come on, come on. Make sure when you say shift, you gotta you gotta keep the you gotta keep the gotta keep the F in it, Shatrina. You gotta keep the F in. You've been using it the wrong way, Shatrina. You gotta keep the <laughs> okay. Some 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 foolishness pops off in verse number seven. That's why I label verse number seven, Gail, the mess around Jesus. And then finally, in verses eight through ten, the message from Jesus. Jesus has something to say. Jesus has some. Jesus has something to say. The message, the message, the mess, the message from Jesus. Look at that word message when you get a chance. The word message has at least four words in it. The word message has at least four words in it. Look at it. Look at it. There's message. There's mess. There's age, and there's me. <laughs> Preach, Pastor. I'm trying, but I got a little help. Come on, the, the, the word message has, has four words in it. Message. You see message in there? How do you see message in there? Because the word is message, okay? You see mess? You see mess? M-E-S-S? -E you see age? A-G-E? And you see me, M-E. What is God saying? He has a message for all of our mess, regardless of our age. And the message is not for my neighbor, it's for me. <laughs> Ah, that was good right there. That was good right there. That was good right there. That was good. 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 I didn't say that at the 830 service. You know why? I didn't preach the 830 service. Come on. But I didn't say it. God has a message for all of our mess, regardless of our age, and the message is not for your neighbor. Point to yourself, say the message is for me. It's for me. And I want to show you, Fred, I want to show you, I want to show you how Zacchaeus cleaned up what he messed up. Grab your outline. Let me give you the answers. Grab your outline. Let me give you the answers. Number one, consideration for Jesus. Consideration for Jesus can help you clean up what you messed up. What's the root word of consideration? Consideration. To be what? To be what? Considerate. When you're considerate, what does that mean? You're not just thinking about yourself. You're thinking about what? Others. 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 Those of you who are standing up and not sitting in a lawn chair, look at somebody in a lawn chair and say, be considerate and let me have your lawn chair. <laughs> consideration. Consider, consideration. Consider, consider. Look at some of y'all like speak to the hand because the head ain't got nothing. <laughs> consideration. For, then here's number two. Here's number two. Here's number two. Cooperation with Jesus cooperation with you. You know what Jesus is saying? If you want your life to be better, work with me. <laughs> if you want things to be fuller for you, work with me. If you want more joy, work with me. You ever dealt with somebody and you said, just work with me. <laughs> just work with me. Just, 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 just work with cooperation with Jesus. And then here's the last one. Here's the last one. Here's the last one. Number one is consideration for Jesus. Number two is cooperation with Jesus. Here's the last one. Concentration on Jesus. Concentration. You know what this means, Leonard? You got to stay focused. And one of the hardest things to do in life is to stay focused, particularly when it comes to spiritual matters. I want to show you all three. I want to show you all three. I want to show you. Here it is, Vanessa. Here it is. Here it is. Look what it says. Look at your outline. Verse 2. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was chief tax collector, and he was wealthy. Now, why was he wealthy? Because he was ripping off other people. And he wanted to see who Jesus was, but he couldn't because he was too short. This is the first rapper ever in the Bible. Too short. Come on. Boy, y'all slow today. <laughs> Come on, come on. Lil Yachty ain't in the Bible. Come on. Too, <laughs> too, too short, too short, too short. Too, once he, he, he wanted to see who Jesus was, but he couldn't because the crowds stood in his way. And whenever, Allison, whenever you try to come closer to Jesus, crowds will stand in your way. The drug crowd. The thug crowd. The fornication crowd. The adultery crowd. The lion crowd. So what did he do? What did he do? Don't miss it, Mike. He just teaches us a valuable lesson when crowds stand in your way. Number one, he got ahead of the crowd. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. So he ran ahead. Who did he 
run ahead of the crowd. He got ahead. Watch this. Not only did he get ahead of the crowd, he got above the crowd. And there comes a time in life when you're ready to clean up what you messed up. There's some folks you got to get ahead of, and there's some folks you got to get above. You got to get above foolishness. You got to get above immaturity. You got to get above tit for tat. You got to get above unforgiveness. You got to get above hatred. He got ahead and he got, and he climbed that sycamore tree. He's being considerate for Jesus. He's doing it for Jesus. And if the truth be told, you and I have a way of being considerate for a whole lot of people except the Lord. We're considerate of our children. We're considerate of our boss. We're considerate of other church members. We're considerate of our spouse. But when the last time you made some sacrifices for Jesus? Consideration. So he climbs this tree. Uh, uh, uh. You got number one? Hit your horn if you got number one. Hit your horn if you got number one. Say amen if you got number one. Okay. All right. All right. So watch this. So let me show you cooperation. When Jesus, I'm at verse 5, when Jesus reached the spot, wow, that's why my preaching is so long, because every clause of the verse breathing always says, say something about me, <laughs> say something about me. I be trying to narrow it down, but the verse just be saying, don't, don't just run over me, say something about me. When Jesus reached the spot, what spot did he reach? The same spot where Zacchaeus was, and I come to preach to somebody to let you know whatever spot you in, the Lord can reach that spot. <laughs> whatever spot you, whatever. What, we're going to do communion after this. And what do we sing about the blood? It reaches. Do y'all still remember church songs? It reaches to the highest mountain. It what? It flows to the lowest valley. It's the blood that gives you strength from day to day. It'll never, when he reached the spot. When he, when, when he reached the spot, look what it says. He looked up. He looked up. He looked up. I'm going to try to use good grammar today because we outside and neighbors can hear me. But if we were inside, you know what I would say, Dr. Retta? I would say he looked it up. <sighs> Come on, y'all know me. Y'all know me. He looked it up. He looked it. He, 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 he looked it up. Now watch this. Who looked it up? Jesus. And when Jesus looked it up, Zacchaeus was already what? Looking down. Oh, y'all missing a good sermon. Jesus is looking up and Zacchaeus is looking down, which suggests whenever you're looking for him, he's looking for you. Whenever you're ready to change, he's ready for you to change. Whenever you're ready to get it together, he's ready for you to get it together. Jesus made eye contact with Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus made eye contact with Jesus. And look at what Jesus said. Zacchaeus, come down. Who, who, who. Is he a crook? Is he a crook? Is it, that, that's a question. Is he a crook? Yeah, is he deceitful? Yes. Is he, a, is he a scandal? Yes. But look at what Jesus called him. He called him by his name. <laughs> he called him by his name. He called, no, notice, he didn't say trifling. Come down. He didn't say fool. Come down. There was a husband, there was a husband, and he said this to his wife. He said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And she said, I know, you don't have to keep telling me. <laughs> Boy, y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. He said, I'm sorry. She said, I know. <laughs> you don't have to keep telling me. Y'all been out of church so long, you missed punchlines. You missed punchlines. All right, I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to give you another chance. There was an eight-year-old boy, and he said this to his mother. He said, Mom, if I have a good week at school this week, Will you give me $2? If I have a good week at school this week, will you give me $2? And the mother said this, how come you can't be good for nothing like your dad? <laughs> oh, you catching up now. <laughs> you catching up now. You get that, Ellen. You get that. He said, and Jesus calls Zacchaeus by his name. You know why your name ain't in the Bible? You wouldn't have called him Zacchaeus. He called him by his name. Because what's Will Moody, catch this. What's most people's favorite subject? Themselves. 
if you want to get people happy and engaged, talk to them about themselves. You ever talk to somebody on the phone and all they do is talk about themselves? Everything is I, 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 I. And all they need for you on the phone to do is say, uh-huh, uh-huh. Say what? Did what? Girl, man, what dog, what, what? And then when you finally get a chance to say something about you, guess what they say? That ain't nothing. One time I. Jesus says, Zacchaeus, come down. This blows me away. Why does this blow me away? Because look what Jesus used to get him down. He didn't use force. He didn't use force. Could Jesus have forced him out of that tree? Come on, somebody show me what Jesus could have done to force him out that tree. Come on, preach with your hands. Preach with your hands. Jesus could have shook the tree. Jesus could have spoke the tree down. Jesus could have took a saw and cut the tree down. He didn't use force. Woo, watch this. He didn't use fear. You know what fear is, Pastor Nash? Fear is if you don't get down out of that tree before I count to three, it's going to be on. If you don't get down out of that tree in 30 seconds, it's going to be you and me. He didn't use force. He didn't use fear. Here it is. He used fellowship. He used Look what he says. Come down, and I want to go to your house. What is the Lord trying to teach us? Quit trying to scare everybody into heaven. <laughs> Will you quit? Hollywood, we've got to quit our opening statement being, you're going to hell. Fear, fear, fear. Some of us wonder why we can't lead nobody to Christ because we always present God as a judge. And who wants to spend eternity with a judge? If you don't get right with God, God's going to send you to hell. If you don't change your life, God's going to do this. God's going to do that. Who wants to spend? Present God as a lover. God loves you so much that he wants to see you in a better position. Jesus didn't use force or fear. He used fellowship. All right, here it is. Here it is. Here it is, Mike Maddow. And what does verse 6 say? And he came down. What verse did Jesus say come down? What verse? Did, it's on your outline. By the way, it is on your outline. I am preaching the Bible. What verse did Jesus say come down? Show me with your hands. What verse did Jesus say? I gave you a clue. Show me with your hands. What verse did Jesus say come down? Verse 5. What verse did Zacchaeus come down? Verse 6. He cooperated. Why is it when the Lord asked us to come down in Luke chapter 19 verse 5, we don't come down to Revelation chapter 21? <laughs> where was Zacchaeus where was Zacchaeus up a tree out on a limb up a tree up a tree means you somewhere you ain't supposed to be out on a limb means you about to fall and the Lord is speaking to somebody and saying you got too much pride come down you got too much guilt come down you got too much judgment. Come down. You got too much esteem for other people and not enough for God. Come down. And what does Zacchaeus do? He cooperated. He cooperated. All right, here the last one. Here the last one. Here the last one. This sermon worked when I was preaching it at home. I just want you to know that. I just want you to know that. I just want you to know that. I just want y'all to know that. That the towel, the soap, the water, everything was saying amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> it didn't start going bad till I started preaching it in church, Jason. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Here's the last one. Concentration. Verse 6, what did he do? He came down and where they headed? To the house. They headed to the house. I wish I had time to talk about Jesus don't want to meet you in church. He want to meet you in your house. Because most of our problems don't take case with the church most of our problems take care at the house it's at the house where we can't sleep at night it's at the house where we treat people like like animals it's at the house where we watch stuff that has nothing to do with the kingdom it's at the house where we lie it's at the house where we have all kind of stuff going on that is not pleasing to God and Jesus says let me come to your house 
And verse 7 says, don't miss it. Hey, Dr. Ellis, verse 7, they walk into the house. And verse 7 says that church people start saying, I can't believe he going home with a sinner. I can't believe. Can I say this about church people? They never give you the benefit of the doubt of getting out the tree. Ooh, that's good right there. That's good. This is my fourth time preaching this, and I never said that because I saved my best stuff for Henry County. Come on now. Don't y'all tell the cab that. I say my best stuff here. What's this? They never give you benefit for the changes you've made. All they want to do is remind you of, of what you used to do. I can't believe. I can't believe. I can't, I can't believe he's going home with a sinner. Can I throw this in for free? If Jesus can't go home with sinners, whose house can he go to? Will you look at somebody and say he can't go to yours? He can't go to yours. Now turn the person around that says something to you and said, I know you ain't talking. <laughs> He's going home. He's going. Watch this. So Zacchaeus and Jesus are walking to the house and people around him start hating on him. And what does Zacchaeus do? Kept walking. Kept walking. Kept walking. And I come to say to somebody today, when you get ready to live for the Lord, People around you going to come up with all kind of stuff. Make up your mind to keep walking. You know why your name ain't in the text? Because your name, if you'd have been Zacchaeus, you'd have turned around and said, hold on, Jesus. Hold on. I know you Negroes. Eh? You got something to say to me. You can say it to We can throw down right now. Meet me in the trap. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Anywhere you meet me, guaranteed to go. Leonard, we used to have a little thing we did on the time. Y'all cut the organ on, Mike. Y'all cut the organ on. Amen. Y'all messing up my role. Amen. So the duck who's paying, Leonard? He is a yours. Okay. <laughs> All right, hit the rewind button. Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Anyway, you meet me guaranteed to go. saying to somebody, you've been taking too much time to address your haters. You've been taking too much time to address foolishness. You've been taking too much time to worry about what other folks think about you and say about you, and you got to make up your mind, I'm with Jesus, and as long as I'm with Jesus, everything is going to be all right. And instead of me focusing on you, I'm going to focus on me and Jesus. Concentrate. Will you tell everybody around you concentrate this week? Stay focused. Stay focused. Did I tell you your next 90 days are going to be greater than your first nine months? But it ain't going to happen if you don't stay focused. We all get 24 hours a day. You know why, Joyce, we get 24 hours a day? 12 hours to mind our business and 12 hours to stay out of everybody else's business. And I bet I'm preaching to somebody, you've been taking 18 hours to look at other folks' business. And your business, you've been taking, what, 18, 24, what's that, 19, 20, 21, help me out, mathematician, six. Veronica had up seven hands. It's six, Veronica. You've been taking six hours. Stay focused. Ah, ah, let me tell you this. In horse racing, they give some horses what they call blinders. In horse racing, they give some horses blinders. Sharif, you know why they give them blinders? So they can just look straight ahead and won't worry about what's on the side. Can I help you? Soon, we're going to be going back in the building. When? I don't know. But soon, it won't be 18 more months. Soon, we'll be going back in the building. And I want to prepare you for going back in the building. First of all, I want to prepare you by helping you with church words. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Won't he do it? Because I ain't heard none of them since I've been out here preaching. 
which means that some of you need a training on the stuff we say in church. But let me give you something else that we're going to do when we get back in the church. The ushers will not only have bulletins. Well, we ain't going to have no more bulletins. The ushers will not only have outlines and offering envelopes, but now Pastor Nash and I have decided to give the ushers blinders. And everybody that enters in the church, we're going to give you a blinder. So that when we come back in building, you can stay focused. So that you won't say it's been 18 months and she still got that same hairstyle. It's been 18 months and he still won't speak to me. It's been 18 months and they still won't praise God. It's been 18 months. We want you to just focus on for 18 months God's been good to you. For 18 months God's made a way for you. For 18 months God's kept the lights on. For 18 months you ain't missed a meal. For 18 months God has given you joy. For 18 months God has opened doors and you need to quit focusing on what's happening for everybody else and just focus on the goodness of God in your life. Tell somebody, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay, stay focused. And that's what Zacchaeus did. He concentrated. And here's the last thing I'm going to say. Verse 8, guess what Zacchaeus said? Jesus, everybody I've ripped off, I'll repay them fourfold. Why? Because he stayed focused in verse 7. He, got, he said, everybody, now watch this. What did the crowd say when Jesus went home with his Zacchaeus? Can't believe. Can't believe. Can't believe he going home with him. And then Zacchaeus stands on the porch and Zacchaeus says this. I'm paying everybody back fourfold. What do you think they say now? Praise the name of Jesus. Won't he do it? <laughs> See, people are fickle. People are fickle. And he says, I'm paying everybody back fourfold. And then I'm giving half my goods to the poor. Verse 9. This is it. And guess what Jesus says? Jesus says, today salvation has come to your house. Today, brother, you say. Now, I'm going to say this because we've already taken up the offering. Because I know when I say this, I'm going to offend somebody. But watch this. Verse 8, he gave. Verse 9, Jesus said he's safe, which means one way to measure whether or not you've really been changed is your willingness to give. <laughs> Preach, Pastor! One trait that the Lord has changed your life is your willingness to give. Verse 8, he says, I'm giving. Verse 9 says, Jesus, you say. Here's another one, Eva, just for free. Another example that the Lord has changed your life is not just your willingness to give, but your willingness to forgive. <laughs> I'm preaching better than y'all helping. I just want y'all to know that. I just want y'all to know. I just want y'all to Y'all say, why we haven't had more outside services? For this reason. <laughs> forgive. Look at the word forgive. Break it up. For give. When you're for something, that means you're a proponent of it. You're not against it. You're with it. So to forgive means that I am a proponent of giving you another chance. <laughs> Boy, I'm preaching in this place today. I'm, I'm, I'm forgiving you. And who are you to hold something over somebody's head? Who are you not to forgive somebody? Suppose God held stuff over your head. Verse 2, he corrupt. Verse 9, he's changed. And what did it take? Consideration, cooperation, concentration. And you and I are going to have to apply all three. And here's my last thing. Here's my last thing. I'm putting my phone up. I'm putting my glasses up. I'm closing my Bible. I'm putting my notes up. And you know when I do all of that, it means absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all miss me as much as I miss y'all? <laughs> you know it means absolutely nothing. Some of y'all thought I was going to say mean that I'm closing. No. Where do you get that from? <laughs> You've been watching too many TV preachers. Watch this. Here it is. All of this happened 
outside. Everything that happened for Zacchaeus, Val, happened outside. Not in a church building, outside. And I want you to know that the God we serve does some of his best work outside. <laughs> And guess where we happen to be on October 3rd, 2021? We're not in the building. We are outside. And if you praise God outside, God will come to your rescue. If you clap your hands outside, God will see you through. If you're not ashamed to give God glory from your car and in the parking lot, God will make a way for you. And I'm telling you to stay focused and not give up and not throw in the towel because we see serve a God that's not through with you and it won't always be like this. God's going to perfect that concerning you. Sooner or later, that just turn right where you are. Things are going to turn in your favor because God's working things out and you say, well, if he's working them out, why is he taking them so long? Let me leave you with this. We serve a God that may not come when you want him, but if you wait on him, if you wait on him, if you wait on him, you, if you wait on him, is there anybody, is there anybody, I know you're waiting for us to get back in church before you hear me act like this, but while we're outside, is there anybody, no God, he'll bless you outside, cause he does. His best work outside, not on the inside, but on the outside. If you don't believe me, come in, Moses. Moses said, I was at the Red Sea, and we wasn't on the inside. We was on the outside. And when I stretched my rod, he opened up the sea, and we walked through on dry ground on the outside. Come here, Jehoshaphat. The armies were coming. Coming from the north. Coming from the south. Coming from the east. Coming from the west. And they weren't coming inside. They were coming outside. But God said, stand still. Watch the Lord fight your battles. And they start singing, singing a song. They didn't sing Luther. They didn't sing Kanye. They didn't sing Ariana. They sang praise, praise, praise. Praise the Lord. And when they praise him, God made a way out of no way. Come here, woman, with the issue of blood. I went to the doctor, couldn't help me on the inside. Went to the pharmacist, couldn't help me on the inside. But one day, I found Jesus, and I didn't find him inside. Where did she find him? She found him outside. And she just touched the hem of his garment. And all of a sudden, from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, she was healed. Good night, Henry. God bless your heart. I feel pretty good here. I done preached myself happy, but good evening now. I got one more stop that I got to make. But before I go, let me tell you something else that the Lord did on the outside. One Friday on a hill called Calvary, they hung him high stretched him wide bowed his head and for me he died but that's not how yes! that's not how the story ends three days look at somebody say three days you getting it together three days you coming out three days he got up. Where did he get up, y'all? Where did he get up? Outside. We outside. Lift your voice. Say thank you, Jesus. 
lift your voice. Say hallelujah. Consideration, cooperation, concentration. Anybody remember the first miracle Jesus ever did? What was it? What was it? The first miracle? He turned water to wine. Anybody remember where they were when he did it? Outside. And what did Mary say? Whatever he tells you to do, just do it. See, some of y'all thought Nike made that up. Nike didn't make up just do it. Mary made that up. Whatever he tells you to do, just do it. And while you're doing it, I want to speak into your life as your pastor and say, you got to concentrate. Because whenever you make up your mind to do something for the Lord, all kind of people will mess with your focus. Our singers are coming as we prepare for Holy Communion. I'm getting ready to go back to the Cab County and preach one more time. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for how committed and connected you stayed. I love you. I've been praying for you. First Lady sends her love. Ever since the Kobe incident, First Lady ain't been with all that flying in the helicopter. I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at her. Kobe and his wife had an agreement that the two of them would never fly together. That's agreement that they had in case something would ever happen. Do you know that the vice president and the vice president never fly together? Never fly together. And I tell the first lady, I got a different assignment than you have got people praying for me and you are one of them if you need Christ in your life if you need a church like Berean if you want to make changes you can call the number on the screen you can send an email to the address that's listed or you can come up front and Pastor Nash will see to it that we connect you that we cover you that we see to it that you're commissioned for the assignment God has for you you're visiting today and you feel like I want, I want that to be my church. I've been watching during these 18 months. I like it. I like it. I like it. We say around here, I liked it that. Amen. I liked it that. Our school teachers don't like when I speak because they say you just violate all the codes of grammar. Amen. Amen. But it works. <laughs> Amen. It works. And I want you to make a decision today. Continue to believe God that better days are ahead. Hallelujah. Our singers are going to prepare. Pastor Nash is going to lead us through Holy Communion. And I'll see you on Tuesday or Wednesday, rather, here. We're starting a new series this month called Discovering Your Mate. I didn't want to preach that today because I didn't want y'all looking around for folks. Amen. I thought I'd preach something encouraging today. But Wednesday, Discovering Your Mate. You don't want to miss Wednesday. I'm going to teach a lesson called She's Got a Habit. Discovering your mate. She's got a habit. Then the next week we'll come back and talk about who wants to give it. 
Mm-hmm. Discovering your bay. Look at somebody like, I ain't never seen Bible study, but I'm going to see it the next two weeks. Because I want to see what the man of God got to say. Look at husbands like, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to give it. I want to give it. I want to give it. I've got to, got to help her to see she got to have it. Amen. So join us. It's going to be a great month, a great month. I love y'all. Praise God for you. Receive our associate pastor as he leads us, closes us up. So nobody, can y'all hear me over on that side? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Okay, all right. Just wanted to make sure y'all got me. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. I'm not going to hit rewind on the tape like Pastor did. I'm just going to keep moving forward. Amen. I hope you have your elements. That's what we're getting ready to do is our communion. Amen. We're going to pray over them, and then we're going to go ahead and do them, and then we're going to look to be dismissed once we get through with that. We're going to be getting ready to roll up out of here. But we know that on Calvary's cross, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he hung, he bled, and he died for us. Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we bless you for these elements. We ask you now to take them out of the natural and move them into the spiritual, that we may remember what you did for us over 2,000 years ago. We praise you, we bless you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. On that night in which he was betrayed, he said that he took the bread. After that, he said he blessed it, then he broke it, he gave it to his disciples. He said, eat. Eat ye all of it. Let's eat it. Amen. Then he said he had a cup, which was wine. It's just grape juice for us. Amen. We need nobody to have to clean up something else that somebody else has messed up. Amen. But it's, a, it's that blood that washes us clean. It's, if it had not been for the shedding of the blood, there could be no washing away of sin. Or as the scripture says, remission of sin. And he gave it to the disciples. He told them to what? Drink. Drink all of it. Amen. How I many you know it was the blood for you? Did you know it was? Say I know. Make sure you keep your elements. Amen. Drop them in your bag.
Don't forget about everything that's happening. Don't forget about what's going on. We about to pop up out of this place like popcorn. I'm about to pray because we about to be some bananas and we about to split. Amen, amen. We thank God for you. We bless God for you. Coming out, be in tune with everything that's happening and that's going on so you can stay connected. We love you. We thank God for you. Father God, we bless you. We praise you and we thank you. Thank you, God, for how you held back all the rain and the weather, God, and the things that's going on. And you brought us here, God. Now that as we leave this place, but never your presence, continue to watch over and continue to keep us, continue to watch over past the first lady and all of the cousins and them that's connected to us, God. We bless you. We praise you. And we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Love y'all. See y'all real soon. Blessings.